today uh, we will discuss uh, what is data warehousing and why data warehouse, what are all the different ETL tools and what are all the business intelligence tools. So we will have a, you know, a decent understanding by end of this session. So data warehousing. Let me start with an example so that uh, it would be very clear for you guys. Uh, you can easily understand. Uh, let us uh, assume that uh, I started a business uh, in the south region of India. So the company name was ABC. Uh, any business has to be, uh, you know, obviously with the products. A business means obviously it deals with the product. So here I'm dealing with FMCG, fast moving consumer goods. Uh, nothing but you know daily usage products like you know paste, toothbrush, all this stuff comes under the fast moving consumer goods. Daily usage products. So and um, to capture all my business transactions, I'm using Oracle as my database. So if this was good, then front end I'll use another software. Okay, so back end you know uh, to capture all my business transactions, I use Oracle as my database. So my business was damn good in the south region so as a higher management I will plan my business in the other regions like you know north, east and west so rather than starting up a new company uh, rather than starting up a new company so in the southern uh, in the other regions north, east and west I will acquire few companies in other regions so what will happen if I acquire some companies in the other regions north, east and west I can start up my business from the day one itself. If I start a new business, anyhow it will take a lot of time to capture the market. So keeping in mind, I acquired some companies in other regions. So I have acquired, you know, a company in the North region, XYZ, which also deals with uh, uh, FMCG. And <coughs> here I use uh, my SPL as my database. The same way, the other regions, also East and West region, I have acquired some companies in one area I use Excel to capture my business transactions and in other region I use a Sybase uh, database. So in the four regions I have four different databases in India uh, you know, in the four regions like in one region I am using Oracle, another region MySQL, another region Excel and another region Sybase. So now I have my business across India. So if I want to make any business decision, generally what I have to do is I need to analyze my historical data. So based on the analysis of historical data, if I could make a decision, obviously that would be a perfect and business would be close. So now if I want to analyze my historical data, uh, India wise, let us say for example I need some information like this. So uh, top five products sales was good across India and top 5 products sales was bad across uh, India. So if I want to, if I want this information, uh, I cannot take this as a time because I have 4 different databases, 4 different databases. If I want to fetch information from these 4 databases, I need to integrate these 4 databases. I need to integrate these 4 databases. Oracle, MySQL, Excel, Sites, all these four. So, what will happen is, if I want to integrate these, uh, you know, four databases, the only one option what I have is, uh, I mean, I can change change the single uh, database system. Nothing but I can change these three, like MySQL, Excel, Sites, this is the Oracle. So, or else these three to my STR, uh, these three into Excel, uh, these three Excel. nothing but changing into a single database system. If I go with a database system, so if I go with this changing into a single database system, uh, you know, I need to purchase software, I need to recruit resources. So the same way, uh, you know, cost wise, time wise, it will take uh, this high. That was the reason. I have an another option. Our main target is to create three four databases, you know, for analysis. So now I have an another option. Let us assume that if I have four different databases, 
in four locations in the south region i am using oracle and north region i am using excel and in east region mysql i am using cypher i have my four business across in the four different regions. now if i want to analyze my business if i want to uh, know across india what was the sales in you know, the top five products uh, top five products i just want to know sales was good and top five products which sales was bad so if i want that information across india then i need to integrate these four databases i need to integrate this oracle excel mysql cybase four regions database then only i can get the data so now one option is changing into a single database system that uh, cost wise and you know time wise it is high so the other option what i do is regularly data will be stored in the these databases four databases from here i will extract the metadata and data into the transformation so i after extracting the complete data here i can apply the logics business logics based on my requirement so after applying the logics in the transformation area then i load data into data lab. so this is a process extraction transformation loading for this process we have tools available in the market we have tools available in the market so informatica data stage abnisio lot of tools are available so by using the tools we will do this process once if the data has been loaded into data warehouse from here we use business intelligence tools to fetch data from the data i said in example let's say for example here i have a customer table here also i have customer because these are four different databases obviously i need a customer table in four regions so what i'll do is uh, i let us assume that you know for the column called uh, gender customer gender male and female so i've written m and f here 0 1 here 0 0 1 0 0 2 here customer gender so this is how i'm storing the data at the time of billing so now if i get four different naming conventions in the data whereas user will be confused at the time of analysis so in the transformations i'll apply some business logic business logic if it is a 0 1 if it is a male or m and f if it is a something other uh, coding then check it will convert here in the transformation to male and female then the data will be loaded into the data warehouse this is a complete process etl process extraction transformation and loading we use you know business intelligence tools going forward uh, we are uh, working with the cognos tools so now we got the tools and reporting tools. so this ba tool is also called as reporting tool so going forward we will discuss all these uh, concepts like we will discuss data warehousing concepts so cognos architecture futures and versions yeah, we have lot of previous versions and futures for all the features in the cognos or future also we discussed so framework manager it is actually a meta data modeling tool before reporting we do we do modeling the framework manager so and query studio is a simple and ad hoc reporting purpose we develop query studio we develop reports in the query studio then users will use this query studio And report studio is mainly used for complex, any kind of complex report studio. And transformer, it is mainly for three-dimensional reporting. In the transformer, we can build a cube. And in the analysis studio, we can develop three-dimensional and cognos connection, where we manage the reports, giving the access to the end users and all the reports will be managed in the cognos so and complete you know end to end process of the project like we have development we have enhancement we have support we have migration we have different kinds of uh, tools available uh you want me add uh, is anything you are looking specific shanti Now you said you will be showing how to create a report. Is it today or yes? yes. Today itself, I just show you uh, mm -hmm. the framework manager modeling and all the windows. I just show you. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. 
creating a package to add uh, Operation package. So, for your understanding purpose, I am just explaining you in six differences. This is the total work what we are going to do in framework management. So, this yeah, is really important. Importing metadata, specifying relationships and cardinalities between the tables. Applying business rules is nothing but filters, calculations, conditions. Good. Then I will create a package, then I will uh, apply securities and I will publish the package. So, in the going forward classes, we will uh, discuss detail. As of now, today I will just do these six steps and I will publish the package, then that will be open in the early portfolio. Generally, you can go with all programs and uh, and we also have map map. These are all uh, window-based tools. We call these uh, window-based uh, tools.